Hello, David F. Sandberg here. Let's talk a little bit about scares. Uh, I see people online sometimes sort of debating the merits of jump scares. And personally, I don't really mind jump scares, which you may have figured out if you've seen my work. But I don't mind them as long as they're done right. Uh, I think the, the wrong way to do them is when you have a scene where not much is going on or nothing too scary, really. Um, and it's just calm, pretty quiet. And then all of a sudden, blah, you have a big noise. And, which makes the audience jump because there's no way they could anticipate that. It came out of nowhere. Uh, but it feels kind of cheap, you know, especially if the source of that big noise turns out to be just like a cat or someone putting a hand on a shoulder, you know. I think the right way to do them is to really build towards them. And one of my favorite examples that I use a lot is the... Um, scene from David Lynch's Mulholland Drive, the hobo behind the diner, where you have this f creepy face that's pretty scary on its own, but once you have several minutes of buildup before you see it, you know, you have this guy talking about his scary dream and how freaked out he is, and you have this soundtrack that's all creepy and ominous in the background, you know, once you actually get to see that face, you're so primed to be scared that it's just terrifying. So I think it's important to, to build towards your scares. And the way we did it in the Lights Out short is that we have a scare in the beginning um, for two reasons. Uh, one, to... Um, to show you that this is a movie where something could pop out at you at any moment so stay on the edge of your seat and also just because i think it's good to sort of start off with a bang if your story allows you to because then that gets your audience's attention and it sort of shows them what kind of thing they're in for and then we don't really have a scare until the very end of the movie uh, and in between, we just try to milk that tension as much as we can, because that's like the best moment in a horror movie, I think, when you know that something something is going to happen, but you don't know when, you don't know how. So you're just terrified, right? And the way you can stay in that moment is to continually sort of raise the stakes or, you know, just make things worse for your character. Uh, so in Lights Out, you know, you have, you know, she realizes someone is in her apartment and then you escalate that by having her realize that this something is now inside her room. And then you escalate it even further when you have the, the power failure start happening. And, you know, so you, you just continue to build before you finally reveal what it is that's been, been doing all this. <laughs> Because the thing is, once you've had a big scare, you've deflated the tension, right? Because the audience jumps and then they sort of laugh about jumping and all of that. So you kind of have to start over again. You can't just do another scare right away. You have to start building again. But that sort of build towards the scare, that those moments of tension is really where you want to be in horror movies, I think. Because that's, that's the fun of it. Um, so, yeah. I look forward to seeing what kind of scary stuff you come up with for your submissions for the My Annabelle Creation Contest.